Since its launch in 1990, Hubble has revolutionized many areas of astronomy. From imaging the most stunning phenomena in the cosmos, to studying invisible parts of the universe, to observing the most distant objects ever seen. Even before its launch, astronomers had already defined several important scientific goals for Hubble. Among them was the detailed study of the formation and evolution of galaxies. In 1995, Hubble spent 10 days observing a tiny patch of dark sky. However, when this image, the famous Hubble Deep Field, came back, it was not so dark after all. In an area of sky with a width equal to just one twelfth that of the full moon, Hubble had found almost 3,000 distant galaxies. Some of them existed only two billion years after the Big Bang. Their diminutive size and irregular structure strongly indicated that today's galaxies formed after smaller ones merged. The survey was so successful that it was followed by the Hubble Ultra Deep Field in 2004 and the Extreme Deep Field in 2012. However, the deep fields were far from being the only programs to study the distant universe. In recent years, the frontier fields have used clusters of galaxies as magnifying lenses to study objects that are otherwise too faint to be seen by Hubble. In another survey, the most distant known object was discovered. This remote galaxy existed just 400 million years after the Big Bang. In 2016, these deep images also helped to count the total number of galaxies in the observable universe. Two trillion. Another scientific goal of Hubble was to determine the Hubble constant. This constant is a measurement of how fast the universe is currently expanding, as discovered by the astronomer Edwin Hubble. As such, the Hubble constant is a key value needed to understand the cosmos. Before Hubble's launch, estimates of the value of the constant differed by a factor of two. With the help of the telescope, astronomers were able to determine its value to a higher precision. Even today, Hubble continues to measure this constant using different methods. However, the latest results indicate that the Hubble constant is different for the local and the primordial universe. This hints at a problem at the very core of our understanding of the cosmos. With the precise measurements of the Hubble constant, the Hubble telescope was also able to determine the age of the universe. Before its launch, estimates for the universe's age ranged from 10 to 20 billion years. Now we are able to determine the age of the universe to within a few million years. Hubble observed stars with variable brightness, known as Cepheids, in distant galaxies. By doing so, astronomers were able to accurately determine the scale and age of the observable universe. Hubble also played a critical role in one of the most groundbreaking discoveries of the 20th century, the accelerating expansion of the universe. It imaged distant supernova explosions, and by measuring how bright these explosions appeared to be, the distances to their host galaxies could be calculated. Hubble's accurate measurements, not possible from the ground, were crucial in showing that these supernovae were fainter than expected, and so the universe's expansion must be speeding up. 
Astronomers now believe this expansion is driven by a mysterious dark energy. With its sharp eye and precise measurements, made outside Earth's disruptive atmosphere, Hubble has revolutionized our knowledge of cosmology and the evolution of the universe. But these are far from the only important discoveries made by Hubble. We saw how Hubble had explored the early universe, calculated its age, and helped in the search for the elusive dark energy. Dark energy, however, was not the only invisible thing Hubble helped to reveal. The telescope carried out a survey to study a huge swathe of the night sky, searching for clues about the equally mysterious but unrelated dark matter. Astronomers used Hubble to create a map of everyday visible matter, from which they could trace the large-scale distribution of dark matter by studying how its gravitational presence distorted light in the images. Maps like these are a key step in understanding this mysterious component of the universe. While dark matter is still a mystery, Hubble lifted the veil surrounding the cosmic monsters that lurk at the center of most galaxies, supermassive black holes. Using its spectroscopic observing capabilities, Hubble peered into the galaxy cores and found that the stars there moved in tight orbits at enormous velocities. This strange behavior indicated the presence of a truly colossal gravitational field produced by a supermassive black hole. This was the first solid proof of their existence. Today, it is known that black holes are located in the centers of almost all galaxies. Some of them are very active, consuming gas from their surroundings and even whole stars. In 2008, Hubble made something else visible for the first time. While studying the bright star Fomalhaut, the telescope discovered a tiny point of light in the extensive dusty ring surrounding it. Hubble turned its attention to planet hunting, taking the first direct visible light image of a planet in another star system. While not one of its original science goals, Hubble has since made a name for itself as an exoplanet explorer, in particular, studying exoplanet atmospheres. The chemical makeup of a planet's atmosphere leaves a unique fingerprint on the starlight that passes through it. In this way, Hubble analyzed for the first time the atmosphere of a super-Earth 40 light years away. And in the future, Hubble could possibly find hints of life in one of these fingerprints. Beyond discovering and imaging exoplanets, Hubble has also revolutionized our overall understanding of planet formation. Studying the Orion Nebula, Hubble made the stunning discovery that at least half of the stars in the region were surrounded by vast disks of rotating gas and dust, the raw materials necessary for the formation of planets. Prior to Hubble's work, just one planetary system had ever been confirmed. Hubble's observations showed that planets are being formed around many more stars than previously thought, increasing the possibility that life could exist somewhere out there. Alongside planet formation, Hubble has always been interested in the birth, life and death of their parent stars. Hubble's high resolving power has been crucial in the investigation of star formation regions, both in the Milky Way and in other galaxies. And its infrared capabilities have allowed it to peer through the thick clouds of dust and gas present in these regions.
The death of a star can be as beautiful and interesting as its birth. Hubble has observed both sun-like stars as they come to the end of their lives in the form of planetary nebulae and massive stars experiencing explosive deaths as supernovae. By studying them at different times in their lives, Hubble has allowed us to paint a more complete picture of stars, the building blocks of galaxies. Throughout the last 27 years, Hubble and nature itself have continued to surprise us beyond our wildest imaginations. And there is no doubt that they will continue to do so in the future. <laughs>